I still had to reach Barry at the cabin. Hey, but no one at the cabin. I was out of the woods. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too, knew a lot about what was going on in the town, knew a lot about Al, even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Huh. Sorry about that, guys. I got my email. I promise we have other programs up. <laughs> oh, let's take the car. Seems more powerful tonight. Let's go. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Why the hell? Where did I find the keys at? First. Oh, yeah. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. You died. Let's go. Okay. Whoa! Come on, come on, come on. Drive this sucker. Knock, knock. It's robbery time. Damn, I'm sorry, guys. Of a bitch, where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple Great. as that. I don't listen. Listen, I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not well. Get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. 
I wonder if the darkness is forgivable. I mean, does the moonlight affect the darkness? Come on. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Great. Sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. No need to. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Seems they can't write one in. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Old Deer Diner. What? Good girl. What a grin on her face. Well, it is the end of episode 3. I mean, 2. <laughs> That's 3 next time. Uh, well, let's just do the end of the music. Pretty good music. Who sings this anyway? <laughs> <laughs> 